Hi everybody, this is Chris again for another Chinese learning video. And in this video, I want to talk about how you say and in Chinese. Because this is a mistake that a lot of people make. Because in European languages, there's normally just one single word for and, like a or c si or da or something else. But in Chinese, there are different words for and, depending on the situation and depending on the other parts of the sentence. So... This is a common mistake that beginners make, and I want to explain this to you so you don't trip up on this by giving you some simple examples about how you can say and in Chinese. So let's get into it. If you want to connect together two nouns in Chinese, then you normally use a character like he, and this is a character that a lot of people learn as meaning and, and it's also listed in dictionaries under and, but normally it's just used for connecting two nouns. So here's an example. I like apples and bananas. Both apples and bananas are nouns. So we can connect them together with 我喜欢苹果和香蕉。我喜欢苹果和香蕉. I like apples and bananas. 我喜欢 like 苹果, apples, 和, and 香蕉, bananas. And you'll also notice that um, there's no singular and plural, so apple and apples is just pingguo in Chinese. So this is an example where we're connecting together two nouns and we can use he. Another character that we can use to connect together two nouns in Chinese is gen. And this literally means with, but often you just translate it as and. So in this example, pingguo gen xiangjiao dou shi shui guo. Apples and bananas are both fruits. Pingguo, apples. Gen means with or and in this case. Xiangjiao, bananas. Dou shi, all are or both are. Shui guo. So this is another character that you can use to connect together two nouns. And another one which you might see is yu. Um, but I won't talk about that in detail on this video. So one mistake that a lot of people make is they always use he for and in every situation, which is actually not correct in Chinese. So, for example, we wouldn't normally use he to connect together two verbs or two phrases that have verbs in them. So here's an example of something that you wouldn't normally say in Chinese. 我喜欢看书和喜欢逛街. This would be something you wouldn't normally say, um, because these two phrases, 喜欢看书, like reading and 喜欢逛街 are verb phrases. So we wouldn't normally use 和 to connect them. So what we do instead is we can use, for example, 也, which means literally also. But sometimes it can be used for and. So this is one way that we could say this correctly. 我喜欢看书, I like reading. 也喜欢逛街, also like shopping. 我喜欢看书,也喜欢逛街. I like reading and I like shopping. So here, and has been translated into Chinese as also. I like reading and like shopping is the literal way that you would translate the characters in this sentence. But there's another way that we could also say this. Um, we could also take 看书 and 逛街 as nouns in which case, we can connect them together using he. So we can say, 我喜欢看书和逛街. So in this situation, 看书 and 逛街 are behaving like nouns, so we can use this to connect them together. Another way that we can connect together two verbs, or two phrases that have verbs in them, is 而且, which literally means furthermore or and. So here's an example for you. 他爱弹钢琴, 而且他很会弹. He loves playing piano, and he is very good at it. 他爱, he loves, 弹钢琴, playing the piano. 而且, and, or furthermore, 他很会弹, he very can play. He is very good at it. So, in this situation, We've got two phrases with verbs in them, and we have to use 而且 to connect them together. And there may be other words that we could use. 
um, but I won't go into more detail about this. Okay, so let's have a look at another example of a common mistake that a lot of beginners make when they're learning Chinese. So in this example, the person has wanted to say, I like China and I want to study abroad there. But they've used he to connect together these two phrases, whereas in fact these phrases are both verb phrases. So you can't use he to connect them together. So what they've said is, 我喜欢中国和我想去那边留学. So we can't say it like this. So how do we say this correctly? Let me give you an example of a couple of different ways that you can do it. The first way is you can say, 我喜欢中国, I like China, 而且我想去那边留学. And, or furthermore, I want to study abroad there. 我喜欢中国, I like China, 而且, furthermore, and then we're introducing another verb phrase. 我想, I want to, 去那边, go there, 留学, study abroad. So this is one way we can do it. We can use 而且. The other way we can do it is we can miss out the and that would be there in the English, in the Chinese entirely. So sometimes in Chinese, when you're just using two phrases, um, which can act independently. You don't need a word for and at all. So, let's have a look at this example. 我喜欢中国. I like China. 我想去那边留学. I want to go and study abroad there. So, as you can see, we haven't used 和, we haven't used 而且, we haven't used 也. So, we simply just put the two phrases together. And then normally you'd put a comma in the middle or a full stop, like you were making another sentence. So this is another way of speaking Chinese, um, which you'll hear and you can pick up on. Sometimes you don't need to use a word for and, and this is something you can get used to as you continue to learn and speak Chinese. If you want to get more information and tips about learning Chinese, I've put together a free guide, The 10 Biggest Mistakes Beginners in Chinese Make and How You Can Avoid Them. If you want to get that, all you have to do to sign up is to click on the picture of the guide on the screen right now, put in your email address, confirm that, and I'll send that out to you with loads more tips and videos as well. Also, click on the link at the bottom of the screen right now to go to my website, fluentinmandarin.com, where you can also find loads more Chinese learning tips and information. And thanks for watching. If you like this video, please help me to like, comment, and share. And I will see you next time. Bye for now.